In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this smooth reverse effect. Okay, to get started, I just added this clip to my timeline that I like to add my reverse effect to. Now, to begin, drag your video track up so that it's large enough to see the clip's preview image. Then, in the clip's top left corner, right click the little FX square. Go to Timer Mapping and select Speed. Okay, now you should see this line going through the middle of your clip. So, while holding down the control key on your keyboard, click roughly in the middle of that line. Doing that will create this dashed line divider. Drag the line on the right side of that dashed divider down to 1%. You might have noticed this little gray marker at the top of the dashed line. You'll need to drag its first half to the start of your clip to begin creating the ramp and then drag the second half up to where you want to start reversing your video. I'll put mine right after we finish going through the tunnel in my video. Okay, we don't need any of this footage after the second half of our marker, so make a cut at its position and delete the clip after. Alright, now when I play this back, my speed ramps down, but it's not very smooth, so to fix this, let's right click our clip and go to speed slash duration. In here, all we're going to do is change the time interpolation to optical flow. Now we have this red bar over our video indicating that it's not going to play back smoothly. So you'll have to make sure your clip is selected and press the enter key on your keyboard to render the clip. Okay, this time when I play it back, the speed ramps down much more smoothly. Next, we just need to reverse the clip. So while holding down the alt key on your keyboard, Drag your clip to the side to make a copy, and make sure you place your clip right next to the first one. To reverse our second clip, right click it, and go to speed slash duration. In here, simply check reverse speed and hit OK. Finally, we'll need to render the second clip out too, so make sure it's selected and press enter. Now when we play this back, we have a really nice looking reverse effect. This is definitely one of my favorite effects. That's it for this tutorial, but before I go, I'd like to thank Envato Elements for being a friend of the channel and sponsoring this video. Today, we've partnered up to give you guys 70% off your first month of Elements. You can check it out by clicking the link below in the description. With Envato Elements, you get unlimited downloads to a massive library of Premiere Pro effects, transitions, sound effects, music, and so much more that you can use in your videos without worrying about copyright. It really is the best deal on the net for assets, so definitely check it out. But that's all for me, so thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.